In 2 Timothy, Paul talks about in chapter 1, the farmer, the athlete, and the soldier. And he gives these analogies to talk about how to live the Christian life. And these are great word pictures. It's also that interesting that Jesus taught in parables to help us give under, get understanding of what he was trying to say. And so I'm going to talk to you today about the soldier. It says in verse um, 3, 2 Timothy, sorry, 2 Timothy chapter 2, not chapter 1. He says, Share in suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier gets entangled in civilian pursuits since his aim is to please the one who enlisted him. What the Bible is saying here is a soldier, right? If they're enlisted in the army, they're not allowed to get entangled in civilian affairs, right? They're not, they're not meant to be in the army and then go into Wawa and go, you know, hang out with friends and go, you know, go to the parties and go do this and, and do that. No, they're in the army. They're on a mission. They don't have time to really dabble in the world, right? Even in boot camp, they limit your time so much that basically you are on a schedule, a strict schedule. Why? Because you're on a mission, right? And when you're in the army, there is no time for playing around. And the same way, guys, as a Christian, you are enlisted in the Lord's army. You are enlisted in the kingdom of heaven you are on god's team he's the captain of the army he is the the commander sorry the commander of the army the captain of the ship right and you are in his army and you are to follow his directions you're not allowed to get entangled right in these civilian pursuits these distractions of the world you know what the bible says the bible says a friend of the world is an enemy of god you know what the bible says the bible says do not love the world or the things in this world. For all that's in the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its lusts. But the one who does the will of God abides forever. Right? Keep yourself from the world. Keep yourself unstained from the world and focus on your mission. Right? You have a mission. You have a mission to please your commander, Jesus Christ. And his mission is for you to build your relationship with him, to share the gospel, to love your neighbor, to keep his commandments, to shine your light, to be the salt of the earth, to be a child of God and glorify him in every action. This is your mission. So I don't have time for these things. And I'm not saying it's, it's like a sin to watch a movie or a sin to listen to music or do things we like. Like God gave us good things that we can enjoy. But he says no soldier gets entangled. This is the key word. Don't get entangled in civilian pursuits. Right? We can still have some, some of our own things that we like to do. Right? But if we're entangled in that, if that's distracting us from what's most important, if we're letting what matters least take over what matters most, that's when we're entangled. And I want to tell you, do not be entangled in civilian pursuits. Make it your aim to please God. You're in the army. Put on the armor of God. Stand strong. Put on the helmet, the breastplate, the sword, the shield, the belt, the shoes, and stand your ground. Fight the good fight and please your master.